Once again, decades of secrecy unveiled. The Buffalo Catholic Diocese is now naming dozens of suspected pedophile priests. Here is that list from top to bottom. 42 names have been made public now, but one alleged victim is calling out the diocese because he believes there are more abusive priests out there who aren't on the list. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley kicks off our team coverage tonight. I find the list that he has just released is to be semi-transparent. Tom Travers was paying close attention when the Diocese of Buffalo released the names of 42 priests accused of sex abuse against a minor. But Travers was surprised because his abuser was not on the list. And I've spoke personally with Bishop Malone twice about my abuses. Travers said he was sexually abused by a priest at Nativity of Our Lord Parish in Orchard Park, where he served as a nine-year-old altar boy in 1975. The event left him traumatized for years, and Travers ended up creating a support group called Williams to help other victims of priest sex abuse. But names of abusive priests discussed by that group were also not on the list. It's disappointing and sad because Bishop Malone is saying he is doing his best to help victims heal and be transparent and he simply is not. The diocese released the list without a formal statement or doing interviews. But Bishop Malone, who was in Albany lobbying against the Child Victims Act, told the Buffalo News he felt it was time to put those names out there. I think it's also important to ask the Buffalo Diocese, do they still support these priests? financially? Do they give them, do they pay for their place to live? Do they pay for counseling? District Attorney John Flynn also viewed the list, but said the statute of limitations had run out on possible prosecution. And I have not been uh, uh, informed of any case less than a B felony that has occurred within the past five years. If there is, then I need to be notified immediately. For people who see the list and believe they too may have been a victim, the diocese is recommending that they call its Victims Assistance Coordinator. We put contact information on our website. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Well, several questions are being raised about this list released today. Tonight, the I-Team is looking closer at what's missing from it and why. Chief Investigator Charlie Speck joins us now in studio. Charlie? Well, sexual abuse victims say this list is a good first step, but that's all it is. A first step. Victim advocates say there are categories of potential pedophile priests that the list leaves out. The first thing is that there's a discrepancy in the numbers. In 2004, Syracuse Bishop Robert Cunningham, who was then the number two man in the Buffalo Diocese, said there were a total of 53 priests in the diocese accused of abuse since 1950. Fourteen years later, the list released today says there are 42 priests, and diocesan officials say the missing 11 priests are from religious orders and they are not naming them. No mention either of where the abuse occurred, during what time period, and what the diocese did to deal with the abuse. The diocese is also keeping secret the names of dead clergymen who had only one allegation against them. If someone else comes forward with allegations, the diocese says it may add to the list. One more thing, any priest who is part of a religious order, like the Franciscans or the Vincentians or the Jesuits, they aren't included either. It's only parish priests who are being named. Maybe the most pressing question is whether there are any current practicing priests in parishes under investigation by the diocese. We asked the bishop this question directly last week. Are you looking now into any active diocesan priests who have allegations against them? We will be waiting to see if any new names come in. Now today we checked again with the bishop's spokesman, George Rickard, on whether there are any active priests in ministry. He refused to give us an answer, yes or no. Meanwhile, the bishop has, himself is in Albany lobbying against, that's right, against the Child Victims Act that would extend the statute of limitations for sexual abuse victims. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7. Eyewitness News. All right, Charlie, thanks for the update. And our coverage on the story continues right now. It's on our WKBW app where you can see the entire list of the names released today by the Buffalo Catholic Diocese.